All right, guys, we're going to be learning the chain rule in this video. And the formula for the chain rule is when you have a function h of x is equal to f at g of x. Of course, the outside function being f and the inside function being g of x. If you take the derivative of that, you get h prime of x is equal to f prime at g of x times g prime of x. So that f prime is derivative of the outside function and the outside function was over here, f, evaluated at the inside function times the derivative of the inside function, g prime of x. So we're gonna be learning how to apply this formula, chain rule, and hopefully these examples make it clear how the formula is applied. So example number one says that when you have h of x is equal to sine x cubed, if you take the derivative, h prime of x is equal to cosine at x cubed times 3x squared. So how did that happen? You just apply the formula. So you get sine turns into cos cosine, evaluated at the inside function, which was uh, x cubed, so that stays the same. Then you multiply by g prime of x, and g prime of x is just the derivative of that inside right there, x cubed, so that's gonna be three x squared. So that was just the direct uh, application of this formula over here. It was pretty straightforward. So example number two is h of x is equal to x squared plus three x plus 70, all raised to the exponent four. So using the formula, we get f, f h prime of x is equal to 4 times x squared plus 3x plus 70 all to the power or to the exponent 3 and you multiply that by 2x plus 3. So that was just, um, yeah, you just, you just uh, use this chain rule on that function over there. So in this case, f was that blob over there to the exponent four. So you get four times blob to the exponent three times that inside g of x, which was uh, two x plus three because that's just g prime of x. So we're gonna move on to example number three, which says if you have a function h of x is equal to ln three of x, if you differentiate that, you get f h prime of x is equal to one over three x times three, which obviously the three and three cancels out, and you're left with one over x here as the final answer. And if it wasn't clear, you just apply the formula here again, which which is uh, pretty obvious here what happened. Um, is yeah the, the outside function is ln of blob so that's f so the derivative of ln of blob is one over blob so you have one over blob blob being 3x times the derivative of blob which is uh, 3 